Good to see you. Good to see you. New studio, baby. Welcome, friends, to Studio AF. Episode number 40, look how far we have come. Look at these dicks right here. Number 40, it's the Rich Harden episode. <laughs> it's unbelievable in here. This is the new Studio AF. We cannot disclose from where we are broadcasting. Undisclosed location, because it's kind of like the old, you know, Studio 54 thing. Right. Everybody wants to be here. There's people outside trying to get in. But only a few people allowed and, and like Studio 54, if you're down, you know. Oh, that's exactly right. And, you know, you come in here, just think about where we started. We started way back when, remember in the old EOC oh, room back yeah, then? No yeah, yeah, set yeah. and things like that. We've been upgrading, but now we've got our own console. Got refreshments right here. Check oh, right yeah. Here. That's no yeah. problem right there. Unbelievable. I feel like right here. Dan flipping rather sitting here. <laughs> I'm about to break off some serious news here. So, this, ladies and gentlemen, again, a huge step forward for Shell Center. We're very proud. Of it, our producer, director, man about town, John Marangoni. Hello, 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 for bringing and, this together. And we're ready to go. There's a special vibe in here today. Absolutely. And of course, the first thing we got to talk about since we keep giving him such a hard time is Barry Bonds finally hit number 714. Yes, it took a long I turned time. 52 <laughs> during that process. I retired last yeah, week. I feel like I'm 714. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Bonds, he finally hit it, and he hit it against my beloved Oakland A's. It's nice that it was in the Bay Area. It, it was nice that it was in the Bay Area. But the first thing you got to know is that Friday night, yeah. my man Houston Street basically said, not tonight, this isn't going to happen. He said it's not coming this way. And talk about the gutsiest move ever, not only pitching to Bonds, right. but a high heater oh. to end the game. He said, try this. That, yeah. And, and let me just draw you a little I analogy. got you. Here you go, home run, Kate. <laughs> let, let me draw you an analogy. Mr. Street right there, not letting, standing in front of Bonds, there's a guy standing out in front of the audience can oh. who's doing the same thing, guarding the entrance to Studio A. Yes. And let, let, in fact, let's go out let's to the audience can and see how there. it's going out there. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Hey, Dave. Let's talk for you. I'm doing good. I need to get into Shell Center for a minute. You're not on this. What do you mean I'm not on the list? So this comes given it. Uh, but I, I work for a mirror. There must be a mistake. I, I, I work for a mirror. I mean, I, come on, I need to get in. Wow, hey, check this out. Good. The new Studio hey, AF. Hey, this is going to be Sonic. nice. Come on in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There must be a mistake. Let me see. You got the wrong list. You've got to have the wrong list. This is not working. <laughs> Strong stuff. Sam is holding it together out Sam, there. You know, all kinds of riffraff trying to get inside. That's right. But luckily, Sam is holding the front out there. That's who we do. And we can do our business in here. Yeah, I feel safe so, and secure in here. That, so that, that's good. Let's get it on with the HSE scorecard. Very good news to report for another week, another injury-free week. Just really proud of everybody. Focus on risk minimization. We did have one first aid, which could have been a little bit serious the other day in, uh, in utilities where an operator noticed excuse me, was sprayed with some hypochlorite material while working around some injection pumps. Luckily, he was wearing protective equipment. Uh, we're going to do an investigation on that, kind of understand if the fittings were proper, all of that. So we'll find out more about that. But, again, injury-free, so great news. On the environmental front, same thing. Uh, so we remain at 11 for the year, based on how we've tracked for the last several years. And, you know, if we close out May... Environmental incident free month, and, and we're getting very close to getting back on track. Right. You know, you'll recall that's where we were really lagging behind, but we could put together a few good months. We'll be back on track. We're we'll back on track. In fact, May, if we can close it out, it'll be a huge month. And, you know, excuse me, I, somebody's calling me. Someone's calling you right in the now. Of the show. Okay, hey, Sam, I'm, I'm going to give him a call. I'm sure he can straighten this out. Hey, Dave, I mean, Dave, are no. you trying to call Mr. Uh, Farid? Yeah. No, you yeah, can't. We're no. trying to film inside New no, Studio. I need it. No, you can't. I'm sure he'd love to take your phone call, but we're not taking any calls right now. We're filming. Hey, security, well, can I leave my voice, people man? Out. No, no, no. We'll get back to you when we're done. All right, man. I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Who, 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 what kind of person would call in the middle of state? I mean, I just I don't understand. I don't know, but I'm just glad Sam's out there yeah, taking care keeping of Keeping a rain on it, so that's good. Um, let's get on to, you know, we talked about safety a little bit. There's two important safety items we need to cover today. One is start your day with safety. Absolutely. We're doing the on-demand format. You yep. call it up whenever Working you want. Great. Which, Working by great. the way, Shell Center is also headed in that direction, so stay tuned Stay for tuned that. to that, folks. 
And especially because I know a lot of you have missed some classic episodes. That's in your future. That's in your back, future. Back to start the day. <laughs> back to start the day. You know, we, we need you to volunteer your time to share a Start Your Day with Safety. We've had some phenomenal yeah, ones, yeah. but we need to keep plugging. John Marangoni films every Thursday. Every Thursday. He's going all around the plant, different areas. So devote your time doing Start Your Day with Safety. It takes a couple of minutes, it's but it has a lot of impact. Fantastic. So I want to do that. Second thing is All for Safety. Yes. It's time yes. to get the All for Safety teams full again. You know, it's it's kind of like everything runs full. Yes. We need every All for Safety team to be full. I mean, it's it's one of those things we're lagging a little bit. We've had some four- and three-person right. teams and everything, but it's kind of like the prom. How is it like the prom? Everybody is going. Because everybody <laughs> and goes. And so you need to go, too. Exactly right. It's uh, certainly that time. Unless you're uncool or something. I mean, yeah. But it, it really is time to hunker down. If you haven't had a chance to do All for Safety, Absolutely. Time to sign do up. it. And one thing I've I've noticed being in some of the report outs is that you know every single person seems to share what an impactful Absolutely. two weeks it is. Very so positive period I think you'll find it's it's time well spent. All right, so let me jump into operations. Uh, pretty busy time. Uh, biggest news uh, for us is the uh, delayed coker. Apparently we have some tray damage in the lower section of the fractionator column limiting the coker to 22,000 barrels a day right now. I'm on that though. You're, I know you're on that. Luckily, Craig, Darren, I mean, excuse me, Daryl, the uh, the guys over at the Coker, Bill Rush and company. Um, so uh, under my direction, under your direction. So we're working on that. Obviously, pretty significant issue right now. We're going to try to make sure that's stabilized and uh, get that going again. Uh, CO boiler number two still working on the circulating pump. They got the pump installed and found out that they were still getting high vibrations and have now replaced the turbine bearings and are still trying to get that hot line and back in service. Um, leak on the BDU got that clamped. Uh, good move by the folks over in Opsan. There was some oil coming into DEA 3 and 4. They managed to find the source of that. They've eliminated that, taking care of it. So overall, uh, really, again, units running full, but the coker is a pretty significant issue for us. Need to make sure we get the coker fractionator issue resolved here in the next few days so we can keep things going. Absolutely. Now, before we move on to the next segment, let's check the uh, entrance cam one, one more, more time. time. Let's see what's going on out there. Sam, can you even believe this? This is the most embarrassing thing I think I've ever been put through in my entire career. I cannot... Like, what? You, step back? Yeah, yeah, sure. Molly, come on in. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Good. You've got to be a f turtle. That's it. Man, I don't think there's a need for Dave to use profanity there. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but at least all the important people are coming in. Yes, yes. Good, uh, to, good to see Wally joining us. And today. it's good to see that Sam's obviously got the most recent list of the entire Shell Center cast. Yes, sir. That's very all positive. People are coming in. And now, sort of another pop culture item. Yeah. You know, it's sweeps time. Sweeps time. It's, it's one of the reasons we've moved to the studio is because it's, you know, May sweeps. We need to get the ratings and we up. need to commit, and, you know, compete. And... You know, it's it's basically it's season finale time yeah. at television. Lots right of now. finales out there. Lots of finales going on. Boston Legal finale Lots of the was great. You know, they've had the uh, the OC finale. The OC. I don't know if one you caught that. No, one of my favorite shows. You tend to watch the that. The OC one. was very strong. And let's just talk for a minute. The Desperate Housewives. DH. Finale. Let's just take a moment. Unbelievable. How I got one it? name for you. Lay the name out for me. Bree oh! Vanderkamp. Oh! How strong was that? Oh, the my. guy's got the gun pointed right at her. Is she backing off? And she's not she's backing, backing off. off. She's, she's right in her face. Walked like right up there. Incredible. At, uh, unbelievable. And you can't tell me you thought Mike was going to get hit in the car by the dentist. By the dentist? I wasn't surprised he got hit by the car, but I thought Carl was going to be in the car. No, that's what I thought, too. Or I thought the uh, the son, who suddenly became rich, was going to hit the car. Who, after killing his grandfather, became rich. That oh. was something. Oh, man. But, Unbelievable. But, you know, so then the dentist now is obviously going to have a romance with Bree, which you recall the pharmacist had yes, the romance yes. with Bree. Now the dentist. And now the dentist. You know, any dysfunctional person from the quasi-medical <laughs> community, apparently, yes. you know, Bree Vandekamp would like right. you to be a part of her and, life. And you know that since it's, it's Kyle, what's his name, McClanahan? Kyle McLaughlin, yes. Kyle McLaughlin, because it's Kyle McLaughlin, you know, he's a name actor, so he, he's coming back. Right. It's not like, you know, in the old Star Trek, every once in a while, <laughs> they'd have, like, some guy you didn't, you'd never seen before. Right. And you knew that guy was going to die he's in like, the first five he's minutes of the episode. It. But if it was somebody, if, like, Ricardo Matoban came on or something, <laughs> you, you know, you know that he's person's going to be around a lot. Because that's Absolutely. name talent right there. Fantastic. So it was, it was a great show. It was a great show. And, you know, The Sopranos has a finale coming up. I yes, mean, it's just looking forward to that. Unbelievable. So we thought we'd go out in the field a little bit and talk to people about their te favorite television finales. All right, we're here with Jim Walls talking about television finales, and you're a Survivor guy. Uh, yeah, I've been watching Survivor from the beginning. 
From the very beginning, first yeah. episode. First so episode. you know the first winner, winner is in prison now. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, went to jail. Yeah. When you're not reporting income that you won before God and everyone on national TV, that's probably like a bad deal. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad move. Okay, so what about this year's Survivor was particularly climactic? Uh, I think it was the, the pretty much the favorite uh, all the way up until like almost the uh, second to the last uh, episode, and he got aced out of it completely. And two people you wouldn't expect to be in there were in So there. he didn't even make the final two? Didn't make the final and two. And where was it again? Remind me what, what, what it part was, of the world was uh, it? Down off an island off of Panama, I think it was. Wow, okay. So the Survivor wrap-up. Jim, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Survivor, yeah. were you surprised about who won? I was disappointed. You were disappointed? Yeah, I thought uh, that one of the other characters should have won. Were you surprised that the original winner is now in prison? No, because uh, he, his, oh, how do you say it, his demeanor, person, his, demeanor his, <laughs> he didn't have really good ethics. Yes. If you don't have good ethics, you're, you don't belong in places like that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, we're just, we're talking a little bit of the Sopranos here with Paul Colash, our yeah. resident Sopranos expert. It's been off for a year and a half, but you feel like it's coming back pretty strong. Oh yeah, it's a it's it's a great uh, it's a great show. In fact, I'm really disappointed. This there's only one more left this season, and then uh, there's only eight episodes left in the next season. Then uh, the series is and then complete. it's gone it's for gone sure. For, kind of like Vito, who is already gone. <laughs> Vito is Vito met his end uh, last episode. Yeah, and it wasn't pretty. No, <laughs> it no. was not. And pretty. It, it, it's hard to totally feel sorry for Vito because he's helped some other people meet their end. Yeah, and, yeah, I mean, he's he's, he's, all he's quite, killed quite a few people. Yeah, it's like karma, you know. It goes yeah. around, comes around. <laughs> yeah, but Tony's still standing. The therapist is still there. The you know the yeah. you know the whole family. They're all back, right? Oh yeah, they're all back in in full force. Uh, you know, he's got to deal with his uh, son, who's a huge disappointment to him right now. Right, and, right. Uh, he had to send his wife off to I Paris. I feel like you're taking us right inside it. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, well, no, I'm just, I'm very uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so, so, so the wife's off in Paris. The yeah. wife's off in Paris, and uh, so that gives Tony the perfect opportunity to uh, give the discipline to his son that his wife wouldn't normally allow him yeah. to. Huh? And, and discipline Tony Soprano style, I'm it's guessing, a is totally not a good thing. Yeah, it, it, he pretty much told his son, don't test me on this. Right, huh? or I'll kill and, you. And, and, that's pretty much where you feel it could go <laughs> outstanding thank you paul cole my kind of for... parenting <laughs> <laughs> thank you a window to the soul i'm gonna get out of here as quickly as i can yeah thank you paul you're welcome all right donna abbott one of our resident crooners from last week thank you very much your finale for your favorite show is coming up yes 24 tonight 20, 24 tonight. and it's one of the two hours it's the big mcgilla yep yep two hours and can't wait and hopefully i'll be there to watch it so <laughs> so so we'll try to wrap this up as quickly as we can. The, the what, what, what's your what, what's the deal with the two hour finale in your opinion? Why does everything have to be two hours? Oh, I think they just need to answer all the questions that they've had going on all year, and they got to dot all the eyes and cross the T's. But we never used to have to answer all the questions. You know, Fonzie, the, the Happy Days broke mid air. Fonzie was jumping over a shark in mid air, and and the season just ended, and they just continued it the next season. Why can't they just do that? I don't know. I'm on the edge of my chair watching it, so I'm happy for the two hours. Okay. Well. Were you around to watch that Fonzie episode? I don't uh, think so. Well, thank you. <laughs> I watched the Ted McGinley era of Happy Days. <laughs> good stuff, everybody. A lot of different views, a lot of good finales, and yep. not time for us to go to plays of the week, so I got one here for you. Uh, here's a really good play by an operator over in the cat cracking area. I was looking at some scaffolding, noticed that the, that the, uh, the folks who had built the scaffold had built it right above a vent off of a relief valve on the 50-pound steam pad. Oh. So this thing was going to relieve right, literally right underneath the scaffold. It had apparently been up there a while. Nobody had noticed. Great job. I think it was Bill Miller out there who found this. Very nicely done. Got it, got it uh, identified and got, it, got the scaffolding revised. So just really pay attention, folks, to catch things like that. That could have been a bad scene. Yeah, and it's one of those sort of normal abnormal. You don't exactly. want something that's abnormal to become normal you and you just it. ignore so it. So nicely done. Great stuff. And we have a franchise player this week. It's the one, the only, John John Mary. Mary. Hey! The producer, the director. He made it all happen. We're in the new studio, thanks to John. You know, when people disappear on Shell Center, it's because of John. When pretty much anything works on Shell Center, it's because of John. 
And we are so, just we're just the on air talent. Yeah, absolutely. The it's, magic is John Marangoni. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I'm Urban just, Magic Johnson, John Magic Marangoni. Uh, absolutely, say, absolutely. Right John uh, John's Magic Johnson, and I'm Milt Wagner from that same <laughs> team. That that that's how the pecking order works. And so, thank you, John. Thanks, John. You're the franchise player. Remember, everybody, to email your three albums yes. for the Lost in a Desert Island contest to me, Stephen with the PH. With Got the some PH. great entries already. And hey, like Sam Bailey telling David Ayers, trying to get in Studio AF, you are out. out.